Hello everybody, Brent Dark Guy here, and welcome back to Shapes 2. Alright, so in between episodes, I managed to get uh, four full top lines. Yay me. I think that's going good. So now, today, we need to take this, the piece that we just currently generated, and slap it between the red and the green one that we have just down here. So here is where the red and the green ones join up so what we can do is we can just delete all this bam so now we have the red and the green here and then our blue ones are like right here so let's bring in our blue ones uh sure now the red's got to go in the bottom so let's figure something out here all right, so now we're making the right piece. Uh, the only difference between the other one and this one uh, is that this piece we had to flip another 90 degrees. So I followed it back to all where it came and I flipped that one before here and now we got all the right pieces. So here we got three, four lanes of uh, red, four lanes of green, and then we just have each one sitting on top of one another the whole nine yards. And then the green ones come in and add for the fourth row. So I think we're pretty good for that. We should be able to just go here and connect all these up now. And just like that. And then we should have four rows, hopefully, of all of this stuff. So that should just automatically go right onto here. Is that going to pose a trouble, though? Oh, yeah. It had to go... Um, in the upper row. I forgot about that. E is this going to cause an issue? And there you go. Looks like all lanes are just about full. There's like a gap here and there. But I'm pretty good with that. That looks pretty awesome. Numbers are going to go up pretty quick. So I'm going to sit here and wait till we do that one. Uh, the next milestone we're going to get. That's going to be unlocking the color mixing. And we'll be able to get involved with uh, this stuff over here. So we'll see how that goes. So it seems that we have this uh, all completed now. So let's go check out our next milestone. We get color mixing. Oh boy. That looks cool. So it's become like a swirl. Or does it just makes like a yellow? I don't know. It just looks so cool. Alright, so we have like color mixing crap. Well, it's probably just the yellow that it makes. Cool. Alright, so now we need to get into this stuff right here, right? Uh, is that the next one? No, that's the one we just completed. Because now that's actually becoming an operator piece. Perfect. So it's this one right here. Um, we need a square and a circle and a circle on top. Well, that's pretty easy because just right up here we have a circle, a square, and we got blue. So if we go and we set something up here, because like look at all these squares, like we have lots. So for the squares, uh, I got something pretty simple uh, set up. So all we need is the bottom one. So I figure if we just cut it in half and then we should have four full belts. So that should be pretty good. But then if we do that four more times, we should have lots. Hmm. I don't know if we're actually going to need these two though. But uh, well, we'll keep them on standby and we'll check it out, right? Otherwise, we'll just do two setups and we'll do high and low. Yeah, I guess I could do it like that. All right, let's kind of repeat the same thing with the the circles. So same similar setup for the the circles on this side, except we have to rotate them on the opposite side to what the blue ones are, or what I mean the squares are. So right now the squares are on that side, which is perfect. So that's exactly how we need to have that. All right, now let's get these two together. 
show you what I got done with the blue so far. Um, we have these two that have been split into halves are going to get painted. So that way we go into our little paint setup, whatever, blah, blah, blah. We got four lanes coming this way and four lanes coming that way. So now we can set up two more lanes of the tops being placed on top of the blue ones. And that's what we're going to set up here next. Okay, dookie. So we got the blue ones on the bottom and the gray ones on the top all stacked. And then we have the same thing going on down over here. That way we're going to have four rows of that. Um, I'm assuming that should be fine. Mm -hmm. Now we just got to go and hook these ones up with our blue bottom ones down here. So we got uh, four rows. I might actually do another setup where I don't even know. I don't even think we need both of those like that. I think we can just do another setup like this. So now the blue here are all getting painted. The same thing with here. Uh, I have these ones on the upper row, these ones on a lower row. Then if we go over here, um, these ones are all getting painted and stacked or whatever, sorry. These ones are on the bottom row and these ones are on an upper row. And then that way when we join these, these are already on the upper, these are already on the lower and opposite sides here. These are on the upper, these are on the lower. So that's that. Now all we have to do is to stack them all properly and we're good to go. So now we just have them all stacked and ready to go. Now we just got to bring them back to the main base, which is over here. So let's go and start. All right, here they come. Here they come. Oh yeah, look at this. I think we're going to have eight lines, full lines. This is going to be sick. Ah, so looking forward to it. <laughs> I think this is like the best the best line I've done so far there with a uh, full uh, unlike this one this is my second best <laughs> I think we're getting way better this is great ah look at this craziness that's friggin dope good stuff so it shouldn't take very long to get to 4,000 all right, well, just a few minutes later, and that is all done. That is absolutely beautiful. Now we get to go into coloring. So we can go way, way, way back here. And I think what we should do I don't think it really matters. <clears throat> so we'll just cut that off there, and then we'll cut this one off here all right so now we gotta merge the blue and the red together in order to make our new color this pink color all right so looking at how the paint mixer system works you have to feed like one color onto each side um, and that's what we're doing. So this is going to be red on the top and blue on the bottom. So if we grab our paint here, uh, let's go like this, pull them in first, and then we'll do the blue on the bottom. That looks really nice. I like the paint. It looks pretty, pretty sexy. And then Bring those ones in here. There we go. So now we should start mixing. And hopefully I'm feeding all this enough. And it should make our pink. That's beautiful. All right. So now, um, So I got four lines coming in. I only got three of these. I'm wondering if I could have done like four, maybe. 
I probably could have. I could have squeezed that extra little bit in, maybe. By just, uh... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, let me just revamp that a bit and see if I can get all of them in there. So this is what we got as a uh, paint system. I think it looks pretty good. That looks pretty nice. I actually kind of like it. <laughs> Alright, so... Let's go, and we need to rehook this uh, up four more times. So we can just delete these. Control C. And that should be all mixing us paint. Then we'll make two lines out of all of this. We'll send one. Well, we'll take these two, we'll put them together, we'll send them here. We'll take these two and we'll send them over here. That way we know we're getting lots of paint. I think that would be the best thing to do. Alright, so let's hook these up. So this is what we got for our setup right now. It looks freaking... It looks freaking good. <laughs> uh... All right, so we got all the red going in one side, all the blue coming down the other, the pink leaving out on both sides. Um, it should pretty much well make a full row with, I think, everything we got going on here. Uh, so all these ones are getting painted pink, which is pretty cool. Those are all going out. Uh, what is going on with you? No pink in that one or what? So I think I got this fixed now. So these ones should actually start getting some now. Just gotta work for the little bit of the backlog here. See these ones are starting to come in now. Should be better. So we're almost done working out the backlog of all the blue and all the pink ones are starting to come through more, which is good. So it means uh we're almost uh, ready to start cashing these in. <laughs> so there, the last little bit of blue ones are being worked out. That's pretty awesome. And then if we look at our built system, so these are all paints coming in. Then everything is just getting painted the way it was before. I just changed the paint lines. Nothing else changed. And then that's just coming down here on the belt. So we're about here now is our change roughly so i'll wait around until this is done at five thousand and then we'll come back and we'll probably start this one right here because the next one we have to just kind of like cut up some pieces and this and that in order to get to this part so we we'll may as well just finish this off do that part and then join this together and see how that goes oh my god so this is white not gray <laughs> oh shit okay so you want to see how you get white <laughs> this is pretty impressive on how you get white let's go to more info color mixing look at white so you gotta get blue and green to make this aqua color we already got the purple and we mix those two together in order to get the white now oh, isn't that freaking oh my god all right so let's try to find some blue and green and uh <laughs> this color oh shit all right so this is <laughs> what we got <laughs> Uh, I ended up moving the original setup a little bit higher and I just kind of copy and pasted it three more times and only a half here because we only have like a little bit of uh, white to do so green and blue should come together and make this aqua crap um, why is that all right, so here's our white color. Oh my God, is that ever white? It's almost blinding. It's crazy. All right, so now we got white, white on the go. That's making its way up here. So these things can get painted. <laughs> this is absolutely crazy. Oh, look at that, another one done. Look at these numbers just going up. It's just awesome. 
Oh, look at that. 20 research points. Um, I wanted to get stacking. There we go. Well, that didn't take too long when you got uh, eight rows of this coming in there. Wow, crazy stuff. All right, so I did cut off the flow to this over here. So eventually this belt will empty out because we no longer really need to um, use this piece anymore, right? I shortened the parts that were here so that way we could gain back some of our platforms because we kind of chewed through it the way I had it there. This is a little bit better. Probably still could maybe get a little bit... I don't know, I think the distance is the same no matter where I put it really. So we'll leave it as is. Now we're, what we're going to do is we're going to work on this one right here. So I think these are the ones that we're going to use. We'll use this one and this one only because we're going to need to be able to split them up again later on. And I think by having this one as a single and this one as a double would be really good for us. Because if we look at this piece here, we split it apart. It's the opposite of that one, right? So, so this is kind of what I got here. So we got the... The single reds being done here. We've got another single red being done here. The duels are being done here. Then it kind of flips over into this figure eight mess where we stack them all together and we end up getting the right results. <laughs> and don't uh, mind these. Uh, they, they will get corrected. Um, as you can see, let's see here. Where are those red ones coming in at? So you can see right here, where are they? Do, 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 do. Okay, so the good ones are on their way now. If I'm not mistaken, see how these ones are pointing down and then they start to point up. Well, I think that's going to be the right. See, there we go. We got some of them in the right direction. And now they will all go home and we will slowly sort out the the bad apples and then we'll manage to get 4,000 of these. So this should be upper and bottom row. So just like the other one. So it should go by pretty damn quick. So we'll let that uh, work itself out and I'll see you guys shortly. It's freaking crazy. And there we go. Another shape done. Alright, so now the two that were red, we're going to turn them pink and then slap them all together. Alright, so let's go way back up here. We shall... I guess for now... Delete this. And then we need the bottom ones. So we could probably actually delete all of that right now. So these ones we have to turn pink, not red. So we need pink to get here. Or purple. Right here. So pretty much all the same thing as before. We just pulled the pink off of the side here. We have it going into this one here. Uh, the red ones will bleed out over time. And it'll be just the pink ones. Then down here we're stacking the pink back on top. Kind of fix this belt system up a little bit. Looks a little bit nicer. We only have kind of like this figure eight X thing going on in the middle. As to oppose of, uh, you know, the whole figure eight thing. <laughs> Oh, it's actually horrible. So this will go and pretty much will all weed itself out. And then we should get this on a more consistent basis. So once that's done. Oh, another one. This goes so quick. So great. 38% worldwide. Wow. All right. How many points? We're up to 12. Not bad. Not bad. We're getting there. All right. So I'll wait till this is done and... We'll come back and we'll start, uh, I think, getting that last one together. Yeah, and then it'll be this one. We'll have to slap together afterwards. Didn't take long at all. I uh, got those 4,000 done pretty quick. So let's head off and start doing the next one. 
This one is a little bit different. Um, so we're going to start with this one on the bottom. Then we're going to have to take half a square. And we're going to have to make this with the uh, one piece there and part of the... Yeah. My god. And then that one on top. Alright, so that shouldn't be too difficult. Let's go over here and find out where we are. Okay, so these two parts are pretty easy. Uh, the red one and the pink one. Those are obviously what we were just working on. We just got to separate them. Now let's go look at the square and the circle. The pink stuff. That's being made up here. So... Follow... These ones here. <clears throat> These two here have to be cut. And we only need one side of them too. So here what we've done is we've gone ahead and we've taken these ones, we've flipped them to the side, cut them, and then reflipped them so this one is on the top corner, like this. Uh, this one here, oops, <clears throat> is just the white ones, and these ones need to be flipped so that way they're on that angle. Um, actually, I don't even think that's the right way. I think it needs to be one more, but there you go. That should work itself out. All right. Those are the white ones. Uh, now we need the gray squares. These ones are, are the magenta squares. So, how are we going to do all this? So, we got the first little piece going on. So, we got the two squares and the one circle being connected. Now, let's go ahead and connect the red one. So what we got going on here is these ones here, I had to flip them so that way they're on the bottom. That's just the reverse side on these. These are going into these two right here. So that's where we're going to get our output. Now we just got to join up the red ones. The red ones are right here. So we have to get these ones and they're not even flipped in the right spot. So these are going to have to all get flipped first because they're not in the right orientation. So let me do that and then we'll uh, continue. All right, those are in the right orientation now. That's good. So now we gotta take those and join them up with the outputs of these ones right here. So it's gonna get very sneaky here very soon. <laughs> so this is looking pretty good. We got our next little bit of parts coming in here now. Uh, this one and this one are both seem to be the right pieces. Which is very good, very good. Um, I'm sure this belt will be better. I think we're just working on uh, it evening itself out here. Well, everything seems full. Oh, we're good. Okay. So, now we need to take... This piece that we're making here, this is the whole middle piece now, right? Now we need to sit that on top of the pink ones, which are right here, and then throw these white ones on top afterwards. So we'll grab one of these, I guess. We'll bring... Where do we bring these? Go something like this, maybe. All right, and then we can have the other ones here somewhere. I think that would be good. All right, so <laughs> the exits for these ones are on the bottom. So we're going to have to do a little bit of a loopy loop thing here. Um, let's put you here and then you here. I'll go like this. I will go like that. This one will come up to. Maybe I should have done it on this side, eh? Yeah. So, what we got going on here now, 
we have all these pieces coming down here. These ones are going to go up. And they're going to come up to here. <clears throat> these are going to mix with these ones here. Uh, these are all going to get uh, flipped onto their side. So it's just working out some backlog right now. So we're just throwing that all away. So as soon as these start getting there, we'll start working through this backlog until the good pieces come here. Same with this side. Then once those are done, we'll be able to flip. Um, flip. We'll be able to send those over down here. And this is the last piece to put on top. And that would be the white uh, half circle. Then once we get all the half white circles on top, we can send them off to, to the vortex. So, and then that will be our next milestone piece. So I'm just going to wait ahead until these ones are done. And then I'll come back. All right, so it looks like we got the right pieces going on now. So we can just sit there and get rid of these and start throwing them onto the main belt. Do the same thing with these. There we go. Now all these should be going down and they're going to get mixed with the white ones. So that should all come down here and then we should have our final piece. <laughs> That's totally sick. There we go. So as you can see, we got the whole piece at the bottom. We've got everything else looking pretty good here. It's looking great, man. This is looking great. And then I think we could just send this off. Uh, we'll do a top row and a bottom row. So we'll send this one off at the top. There. That one can go to the top. And then we'll just get rid of this one. It can go to the bottom. And then that way we'll have eight belts dropping this crap off. Oh man, isn't that awesome? That looks great. Absolutely beautiful. So that's going on to the main belt. And then the main belt is going all the way down here like this. And into here. So yeah. And here we go. The beginnings are starting to arrive here. Soon we're going to have full belts, hopefully. Oh, that'd be great. And we'll see what kind of uh, belt work we got going on here. If we got full belts or not. Should. Kind of hoping we should. wonder if there's just going to be gaps all uh, through the entire thing. Or we're just going to have, like, full belts. But regardless, even if there's gaps, we've still got pretty pretty good amount of production going on there and all of them are right so that's a, a bonus oh I've seen a couple X's there those must have been uh, some things that didn't work out that made the uh, that made it there all right these are the last two beautiful absolutely beautiful <clears throat> well I hope you enjoyed the video everybody we got our seventh milestone piece done Parts are coming in pretty rapidly, so I'm pretty happy with that. And our vortex is looking, starting to look full, which is nice. Looking pretty good. So I hope you enjoyed the video, everybody. Like, subscribe, peace, take care. And we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.